Hello students, welcome to grade 12 chemistry revision lesson on chemical bonding theories. In our today's lesson, we will learn about valence bond theory and molecular orbital theory. Students, if you are ready, then we will get started. In our previous lesson, we have seen the Lewis theory and valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. The two theories, Lewis, Lewis theory, Lewis theory and valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. Lewis theory provides a simple way of predicting distribution of valence electrons in a molecule. Valence shell electron pair repulsion theory provides a simple way of predicting geometry of molecules. But neither of these models tells or says how covalent bond is formed. Now, the valence bond theory explains how a covalent bond is formed. According to valence bond theory, a covalent bond is formed when half-field orbitals of one atom overlap with half-field orbital of another atom. If we take hydrogen molecule, look, this bond, hydrogen molecule, H, H, single bond, this is covalent bond. According to valence bond theory, this covalent bond is formed when half-field orbital of the first hydrogen overlap with half-field orbital of the second hydrogen. Now the overlapping is S, S overlapping, you see. When these two half-field orbitals overlap, the resulting bond is single bond, is covalent bond. Overlap of atomic orbitals, sigma and pi bonds. How sigma bond is formed? How pi bond is formed? Let us see formation of sigma and pi bonds. Three simple basic types of atomic orbital overlap leads to covalent bond formation. These are one SS overlap in which half field S orbitals overlap. You can take a simple example hydrogen molecule H2. H2. You see? Hydrogen, it's electronic configuration. Hydrogen, atomic number one. Electronic configuration is 1S1. You see? S atomic orbital is half field. S atomic orbital has one electron. For the second hydrogen, the electronic configuration is the same, 1s1. Again, s orbital of the second hydrogen is half field. When the two half field atomic orbitals, s atomic orbitals overlap, this sigma bond is formed. Now this is region of high electron charge density, you see, ss overlap. When half field S orbital of one atom overlap with S atomic orbital of the second, which is half field, we call it SS overlap. Now, the overlapping is head to head, end to end. In this case, sigma bond is formed. Two, SCB overlap, where half field S orbital of one atom overlaps with one of the p orbital having one electron. The best example of this is hydrogen fluoride, HF, HF. Hydrogen has one valence electron. Fluorine has seven valence electron. Therefore, this covalent bond is formed by sharing of electrons. Fluorine, fluorine, you see. Hydrogen electronic configuration 1s1, 1s1. The atomic number of fluorine is 9, 
nine. It is electronic configuration is one S two, two S two, two P five. Using orbital diagram, electronic configuration of fluorine, valence electron, two S atomic orbital. You see, two S atomic orbital has two electrons. Two electrons. An orbital accommodates a maximum of two electrons. P subshell has three atomic orbitals. Px, Py, and Pz. You see? P5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this P atomic orbital is half filled. Therefore, S atomic orbital of hydrogen atom is half filled. Overlap with P atomic orbital of fluorine. This is S atomic orbital of hydrogen. This is P atomic orbital of fluorine. Both are half filled. When these two half filled atomic orbitals overlap, the type of overlap is SCP overlapping. You see? The two atomic orbitals overlap head to head, end to end. In this case, sigma bond is formed. Three, PP overlap, in which two half filled P orbitals overlap. For example, take fluorine, F2. F2. The bond between the two atoms is covalent bond, is formed by sharing of electrons, fluorine, fluorine bond. As we said, electronic configuration of fluorine with atomic number 9 is 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. Using orbital diagram, valence electrons are involved in bond formation. Therefore, 2s atomic orbital, 2s atomic orbital has two electrons, two electrons. 2p atomic orbital, p subshell has three atomic orbitals, px, py, and pz. You see? 2p5, five electrons. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this fluorine atom has half-filled P atomic orbital, you see? P atomic orbital, half-filled. Again, the second fluorine atom has half-filled P atomic orbital. P atomic orbital. When the two atomic orbitals overlap, now the overlapping is head-to-head, end-to-end. The resulting bond is sigma bond is sigma bond, you see, PP overlapping. Again, P atomic orbitals can overlap laterally, sidewise. In this case, we call PP overlapping, which result in the formation of pi bond. When two parallel P atomic orbitals overlap laterally, sidewise, the resulting bond is pi bond. Therefore, pi bond exists in molecules containing multiple bond. Sigma bond exists in molecules containing single bond. Sigma bond is formed, formation of sigma bond. Sigma bond is formed when orbitals overlap head to head, end to end. You see, as we said, overlapping of atomic orbitals. Look. Now, the overlapping is head to head, head to head, you see, along the internuclear axis. In this case, sigma bond is formed along the internuclear axis, you see. Pi bond is formed when P orbital inside to side or parallel overlap. When parallel P orbitals overlap, parallel. P atomic orbitals overlap along the line perpendicular to the nuclear axis. In this case, pi bond is formed. Note that single bond has one sigma bond. Single bond has one sigma bond. Double bond has one sigma and one pi bond. Triple bond, triple bond has one sigma and two pi bonds. For example, determine the number of sigma and pi bonds in this hydrocarbon. First, draw the structure of this molecule. The structure of this molecule is this, CH3, carbon, 
bonded with three hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Single bond, carbon, single bond, carbon. Then triple bond, triple bond, carbon. Then single bond between these two carbon, single bond, carbon. Then hydrogen bonded. This carbon is bonded with hydrogen atoms. Then double bond, double bond, CH2, carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. This is the structure of this molecule. Now you are asked to determine number of sigma bonds and pi bonds. Single bond has one sigma bond. Therefore, the number of sigma bonds are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 sigma bonds. Sigma bonds. And how many pi bonds are there? As we said, triple bond has two pi bonds. Two pi bond. Double bond has one pi bond. Therefore, a total of two plus one is three. Three pi bonds. Three pi bonds. Now, this molecule has 10 sigma bonds and three pi bonds. Hybridization of orbitals. Students, what does hybridization mean? Hybridization is an imaginary mixing process in which orbitals rearrange themselves to form a new hybrid orbitals. In hybridization, orbitals hybridized from the same energy level. For example, 2s atomic orbital, 2s atomic orbital mixed with 2p atomic orbital to form SP hybrid orbitals. SP hybrid orbital. The number of atomic orbitals involved equal the number of hybrid orbitals. You see? Hybridization takes place from the same energy level. 3S atomic orbital is mixed with 3P atomic orbital to form SP hybrid orbitals. Number of hybrid orbitals equal number of atomic orbitals involved. Therefore, hybridization is the process of replacing pure atomic orbitals, reformulated atomic orbitals for bonded atoms. The new orbitals formed are called hybrid orbitals. Hybrid orbitals. Orbitals hybridization was proposed by Pauling. Types of hybridization. SCP hybrid orbitals. Combination of 1s and 1p orbital is called SCP hybridization. Each SCP hybridized orbital has an equal amount of s and p character. That means 50% s and 50% p character in SCP hybridization. SCP hybrid orbitals result in linear molecular shape with bond angle 180 degree. For example, Look at this molecule, beryllium chloride. Now, the atomic number of beryllium is 4. Electronic configuration of beryllium is 1s2, 2s2. Valence electrons are involved in bond formation, 2p0. 2p0. Therefore, ground states, electronic configuration of beryllium is 2s2, 2p0. Zero. Excited states, electronic configuration of beryllium. You see? One of the electron promoted to higher energy orbital. Now this is excited state electronic configuration of beryllium. Look, 2s atomic orbital has one electron. One of 2p atomic orbital has also one electron. There are two half field atomic orbitals. Now, S atomic orbital is mixed with P atomic orbital. S atomic orbital is mixed with P atomic orbital to form SP hybrid orbital. The number of hybrid orbital equal the number of atomic orbitals mixed. 
two atomic orbitals mixed to form two new hybrid orbitals. Beryllium is the central atom. Look, beryllium. S atomic orbital is mixed with P atomic orbital to form SP hybrid orbitals. SP hybrid orbital with a bond angle 180 degree. Each hybrid orbital is half filled. You see, has one electron. One electron. This is SP hybrid orbital. Again, this is SP hybrid orbit. Now, beryllium chloride, chlorine has one half filled p atomic orbital because the electronic configuration of chlorine, chlorine with atomic number 17 is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. You see? Valence electrons are involved in bond formation. Now, 3p5, you see, one of the p orbital is half filled. Therefore, beryllium chloride, beryllium chloride, the Lewis structure of beryllium chloride, this beryllium chlorine, chlorine is linear in shape with bond angle 180 degree. This covalent bond is formed when half filled SP hybrid orbital of beryllium, beryllium overlap with half filled P atomic orbital of chlorine, chlorine, you see? Overlapping, look like this. Result in the formation of this sigma bond. Again, half field SCP hybrid orbital of this beryllium overlap with half field P atomic orbital of chlorine to form the second sigma bond, single bond. Because according to valence bond theory, covalent bond is formed when half field orbital of one atom overlap with half field atomic or hybrid orbital of another atom. This is SCP hybridization. When S atomic orbital is mixed or hybridized with P atomic orbital, the resulting hybrid orbital is SP. Two SCP2 hybrid orbitals. Combination of 1s and 2p orbital is called combination of 1s and 2p orbital is called SCP hybrid orbit. SCP2 hybrid orbitals possess 33.33 percent s character and 67.66 P character. SCP2 hybrid orbitals result in trigonal planar electronic arrangement with bond angle 120 degree. For example, boron trihydride BH3. Boron atomic number is 5. Boron atomic number 5. Electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Valence electrons are involved in bond formation. Now, the ground state's electronic configuration of boron is this, 2s2, 2p1. Excited state's electronic configuration of boron is this, you see? One of the electron promoted to high energy orbital. Therefore, 2s1, 2p1, 2p1. Now, sp atomic orbital is mixed with 2p atomic orbitals, you see, to form SCP hybrid orbitals, boron is the central atom. Now, the number of hybrid orbitals equal the number of atomic orbitals mixed. Three atomic orbitals are hybridized, are mixed to form three hybrid orbitals. SP2, SP2, SP2. Each hybrid orbital is half filled, has one electron, one electron. Now, the structure of BH3, Lewis structure is this, boron, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. The molecular shape, geometry of this molecule is trigonal planar. Bond angle is 120 degree. Now, this covalent bond is formed when half field S orbital of hydrogen overlap with SP2 hybrid orbital of boron. This covalent bond is formed when half-filled 
SCP-2 hybrid orbital of boron overlap with S Hafield S atomic orbital of hydrogen. This covalent bond is formed when Hafield S atomic orbital of hydrogen overlap with SCP-2 hybrid orbital of boron. Therefore, SCP-2 hybridization is formed when S atomic orbital is mixed with 2P atomic orbitals. Number of hybrid orbital equal number of atomic orbitals mixed. This is SCP-2 hybridization. Three, SCP-3 hybrid orbitals. Combination of 1S, 1S, and 3P orbitals plus P plus P plus P is called SCP-3 hybridization. SCP-3 hybrid orbitals possess 25% S character and 75% P character. SCP-3 hybrid orbitals result in tetrahedral electronic arrangement with bond angle 109.5 degree. For example, take this molecule CH4. Carbon atomic number is 6. Electronic configuration 1s tube, 2s tube, 2p tube. Only valence electrons are involved in bond formation. Now, the ground state's electronic configuration of carbon is 2s tube, 2p tube. Before doubling here, vacant orbital must be occupied with electron. This is Handa's rule. Excited states electronic configuration of carbon. One of these electron is promoted to high energy orbital. Therefore, there are four half field atomic orbitals. Now, 1s atomic orbital is mixed with 3p atomic orbitals to form four sp3 hybrid orbitals. The number of hybrid orbitals formed equal the number of atomic orbitals mixed. How many atomic orbitals are mixed? One, two, three, four. How many hybrid orbitals are formed? Four hybrid orbitals are formed. One, two, three, four. Each hybrid orbital is half filled. Now this is SP3 hybrid orbital. Again, this is SP3 hybrid orbital. This is SP3 hybrid orbital. This is also SP3 hybrid orbital. SP3 hybrid orbital. There are four SCP-3 hybrid orbitals. Each hybrid orbital has one electron. Now this is the Lewis structure of methane, CH4, carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, H, H. You see? Now this covalent bond is formed when half-filled S-atomic orbital of hydrogen overlap with half-filled SCP-3 hybrid orbital of carbon. You see, all these covalent bonds are formed when S atomic orbital of this hydrogen overlap with SCP-3 hybrid orbitals of carbon. This is SCP-3 hybridization. SCP-3D hybrid orbitals. Combination of 1S, 3P and 1D orbital is called SCP-3D hybridization. 1s atomic orbital is mixed with 3p atomic orbitals mixed with 1d atomic orbital to form SCP-3D hybridization. The resultant orbitals is called SCP-3 hybrid orbital. SCP-3D hybrid orbitals possess 20% S character, 60% P character and 20% D character. SCP-3D hybrid orbitals result in trigonal bipyramidal electronic arrangement. For example, look, take this molecule, PCL5. Phosphorus, electronic configuration is this. Phosphorus with atomic number 15. Electronic configuration, 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P3. Only valence electrons are involved in bond formation. Now the ground state electronic configuration of phosphorus is 3s tube, 3p stream. 
Hundas rule before doubling here. Vacant orbitals must be occupied with electrons. Now excited states electronic configuration of phosphorus. One of these electrons promoted to high energy orbital. You see? Therefore, 1s atomic orbital is mixed with 3p atomic orbital mixed with 1d. You see? S plus P plus P plus P plus D gives SP3 D hybrid orbital. The number of hybrid orbital equal the number of atomic orbitals mixed. Therefore, this is the first SP3D hybrid orbital, the second SP3D hybrid orbital, third, fourth, fifth. There are five hybrid orbitals formed. When 1S atomic orbital is mixed with 3P atomic orbital, mixed with 1D atomic orbital, each hybrid orbital is half filled. Chlorine has also half filled p atomic orbital when half filled p atomic orbital of chlorine overlap with half filled sp3d hybrid orbital of phosphorus form a single bond covalent bond sp3d2 hybrid orbitals combination of 1s 1s 3p 3p and 2d 2D orbitals result in the formation of SP3D2 hybrid orbitals. SP3D2 hybrid orbitals possess 16.7% S character, 15% P character, and 33.3% D character. SP3D2 hybrid orbitals result in octahedral, octahedral, octahedral electronic arrangement for example sf6 sulfur its atomic number is 16 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p4 valence electrons are involved in bond formation now the ground states electronic configuration of sulfur is 3s2, 3p4, 3p4, you see, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, S, excited states, electronic configuration of phosphorus, one of these electron promoted to this, again this is promoted to this vacant orbital. Now, 1s atomic orbital is mixed with 3p atomic orbital with 2d atomic orbital to form sp3d2 hybrid orbitals six hybrid orbitals are formed when six atomic orbitals mixed hybridized each hybrid orbital is half filled this is known as sp3d2 hybridization students let us try this exercise so that you can practice what you have just learned. Describe a hybridization scheme for the central atom, sulfur, and the molecular geometry. M, SO3, B, sulfur dioxide, C, BF4 minus. You have three minutes.
Welcome back again, students. How did you do it? Good. Let us do together. What did you do? Your first step is to draw the Lewis structure of the molecule M. SO3. SO3. Now, calculate total number of eight electrons N. N, 1 times 8 is 8, plus 3 times 8 is 24, 32 electrons. Because all elements, all atoms tend to have a noble gas electronic configuration. Valence electron, V, the valence electron of sulfur is 6, 1 times 6 plus 3 times valence electron of oxygen, again 6, equal 6 plus 18 is 24 electrons. Now shared electron. Electrons which are involved in bond formation is obtained by subtracting V from N equal N minus V, which is 32 minus 24 is 8 electrons. 8 electrons are shared between 1 sulfur and 3 oxygen atom. Sulfur, then oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. You see? 8 electrons. 2, 4, 6, one of these is a double bond, eight. Now, count number of charge clouds on the central atom. How many charge clouds are there on the central atom? Sulfur, one, two, three. Therefore, sulfur undergo SCP2 hybridization. What is the molecular geometry of sulfur trioxide? Now, this is a type of A, central atom, B3. A, B, 3, E, 0 type. Its geometry is trigonal planar with bond angle 120 degree. Trigonal planar. Trigonal planar. Planar. B, sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide. Your first step is to draw the Lewis structure of the molecule. Now, Total number of 8 electrons, N equal, 1 times 8 is 8, plus 2 times 8 is 16, equal 24 electrons. Shared valence electron, V equal, for sulfur is 6, plus for oxygen, 6 times 2, 12 electrons, a total of 18 electrons. Shared electron is obtained by subtracting V from N, N minus V equal, 24 minus 18 is 6 electrons. 6 electrons are shared between sulfur and two oxygen atom. Now sulfur is the central atom. Sulfur. Oxygen, oxygen. 6 electrons are shared. 2, 4. One of these is a double bond. 6. 6. Out of 18 valence electrons, 6 electrons are bonding electrons. The rest, 18 minus 6, 12 electrons. 12 electrons are unshared electrons. Loon pair of electrons. 2, 4, 6. This oxygen needs 4 electrons to have a noble gas electronic configuration. Total of 10, we are left with 2 electrons. 2 electrons. Now count number of charge clouds around the central atom. Sulfur. 1, 2, 3. Again, this sulfur undergone SCP2 hybridization. SCP2 hybridization. What is the geometry of sulfur dioxide? This is a type of central atom, M. Periphery atoms, 1, 2, B2. Lone pair of electron is 1, E1 type, AB2. E1 is angular, bent or V shape. V shape, angular. You can say bent or V shape. V shape is the geometry of sulfur dioxide. C, BF4 minus. BF4 minus. Your first step is to draw the Lewis structure of this molecule. Boron, its valence electron is 3 plus 1, 4. Therefore, bonded with 4 fluorine atoms. F, 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 raised to minus 1, the whole minus 1. Now count number of charge clouds around the central atom. Boron, how many? 
Charge clouds are there. Sets of electrons are there on the central atom, boron, one, two, three, four. Now this boron undergo SP3 hybridization. The geometry of this species is tetrahedral. Good. Students, in our today's lesson, we learned valence bond theory. According to valence bond theory, a covalent bond is formed when half field orbital of one atom overlap with half field orbital of another atom. We discussed hybridization of atomic orbitals. Hybridization is an imaginary mixing process in which orbitals of an atom rearrange themselves to form a new hybrid orbitals. The number of hybrid orbitals equal the number of atomic orbitals mixed. This brings us to the end of our today's lesson. Until next time, goodbye.